Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we're going to be reviewing a new movie that I've not watched, it's not actually new but I mean new in my mind, Piranha 3D, the 2010 horror comedy, in a sense there is comical aspects but horror, it's an 18, it features Elizabeth Shue, it also features uh, Vin Rhymes, um, Christopher Lloyd, Kelly Brook, Jerry O'Connell, Richard Dreyfus, and multiple other people. I won't be mentioning like specific names. I'm just going to talk about what I think about the film. Um, and in general, what happens in the film. So if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. This one in particular, because I'm going to be reviewing Piranha 3DD. Um, this one is on Netflix, and the other one is not on streaming. I don't think so. I, yeah, I yeah but anyway go check them both out they definitely deserve watching this one is definitely a good good film for sure but if you do not like blood gore death don't watch it it's an 18 it's just it's it's, it's horrendous even for me who i can usually hold you know i'm not jump scary or you know it's not jump scare per se but when things happen it's just a bit gory and it's just a bit over the top of times i'm just thinking jesus christ especially one scene in this film it just went on oh, on and on but yeah we'll talk about that in a minute but obviously hit that subscribe button leave a like and of course enjoy so piranha 3d it's like a remake of a remake there was the original 70 70s one and then i think there was one there's a sequel and there's another one that came out and then there's this one these are the modern day ones uh as I said, with a brilliant cast. Obviously, Elizabeth Shue is the main cop in town with Vim Rhymes working as the Lake Coast Guard um, officer, sheriff person. So they are obviously massively involved. And the main plot of this is this guy, played by Richard Dreyfus at the start, drops a bottle in the water, then causes an earthquake. And it's the stupidest beginning, but ultimately he is ripped apart and it just sets the tone for what this film is. You know, plot-wise, there isn't really a plot, except there is menacing, crazy, <laughs> deadly... Um, two million year old um oh my god piranhas in the water that are just going to kill you instantly and that is it basically stay out of the water or you will die and most of the pre a lot of people are in the water because it's you know it's like summer there's events going on and then you have the cops doing one thing you have um the son jake who's with this these girls and this director who are shooting a porno they're out doing bits and bobs so water is a huge thing of this they have to go in water they have to do new shoots they have to do swimming and all this sort of stuff to set the tone and just make the movie they want to make better they're obviously you know listening to music you know cannon bolting into water celebrating having a good summer and all this jazz i mean, built for one of the most glorious scenes i think i've ever seen in a film um, and I think this the scene that made me go, this film is so much better than I ever thought it would be. Because basically, Vim Rhymes is just basically like, yo, get out of the water. There's about, what, 100 plus people here. Uh, he shoots in the air, tells the DJ to shut up, tells people to get out of the water. I think it's like 10 minutes later, they, they start coming, they're underneath everyone, not touching everyone. And then eventually the piranhas just start attacking and they're ripping the flesh off people. People are losing their legs. People are getting their eyeballs ripped out. There's one woman who even isn't even doing the piranhas, uh, but it's caused by entirely what's going on. The stage thing falls off. It goes through her and half her body just slides off. It was gruesome. There's people who are going on the beach section who just rips apart. It was so gory, and you know, people getting their heads chopped off, and body mints, limbs ripped off. And, oh, it was absolutely horrendous to watch. I just this scene, I think, went out for fifteen minutes alone. It, it felt like that because it was just death after death after death, and then Vin Rhymes trying to do his best to protect all these people. He gets like the boat motor, and he's just killing them off with chainsaw, and ultimately he gets his legs abolished 
But yeah, it was probably, in my opinion, one of the greatest horrific scenes I've seen for death in a movie. It was brilliant for all the wrong reasons. And then obviously on the, you have the opposite scenes where you have obviously the crew who doing the porno. Uh, they get trapped, they crash, the piranhas are going into the boat. Blonde girl who's on the boat, she gets absolutely decimated. The director gets his legs ripped apart and then he gets lifted onto the boat and you think, oh, I wonder what's wrong with him. And he's just on the boat and his whole bottom half has been massacred. It was just awful to watch. Oh, it was just crazy. Uh, but most of the cast did survive, apart from the end of it, where, you know, I'm going to go back and talk about a few more things in a minute, but I can't remember. Oh, Christopher Lloyd's character, you know, calls up because he's the guy who tells him it's a two million year old fish and this, that, and the other. And then how have they escaped? How have they been alive? And then the main guy who's been with Elizabeth through most of the film, the camera shot built this up. It was like, oh, these are all babies. So where's the mother? Bang. Dead instantly. It was just set up perfectly. Uh, and yeah, the, so many gory scenes. The plot was very simple and basic, but it just it just worked for what it was wanted to do. Piranhas killing everybody and everything in sight. Even bit one of the little kids early on, which was just like if one of the kids died, I would I would have been like mortified because Jesus Christ, it was already horrific to watch at times. But uh, yeah, I've got to admit, it's not one of the greatest films ever but it's one of the most enjoyable films I've seen in a very long time for horror purposes as well. Um, and I'm glad I finally got around to watching it and people should all watch it. I think it's like 70 plus percent on Rotten Tomatoes justifiable because there's nothing really wrong with the film. If you think about it. So the basis of the story being basic, but the gore being incredible, I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. I think it was a terrific, terrific watch. Um, and it hyped me up to watch the sequel and I watched the sequel, so I'm going to get that review out soon. Uh, Christopher Lloyd um, does return in the sequel and a couple of others, but I will not go into that because one character actually confused me who returns in the sequel. It's the cameraman who's on board with Jake and the rest of the crew who somehow disappeared. Um, so explain that one because I don't remember him getting off the boat at any time. Um, yeah, so overall a collectively great film everyone should go check out remember it's an 18 so if you're not good with blood gore death and i mean bad blood there's just blood everywhere and there's people being ripped apart and pulled apart and shredded and fucked up it was disgusting people behind it were just like let's just go full out and they just set up the perfect scene with the scene i just talked about in the ocean at the lake sea where there's so many people you just knew there's going to be a massacre and it was brilliant Absolutely brilliant. Go check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think down below. And goodbye.